Next, the mobile and broadband providers offering unlimited deals. Good word, that. Could be clearer. Let's ask the famous wordsmiths. The Oxford English Dictionary definition of unlimited is quite clear. Unlimited. Not limited or restricted. Infinite. Oh, I'd say limitless, unrestrained, indefinite, boundless in a word. Thank you, Giles Brandreth. And if the dictionary definition is that clear, how come it doesn't mean the same to some of the mobile phone companies? Here's Rebecca Wilcox. One little word, so many meanings. To find out how many, I've decided to call a few mobile phone companies. All of our team are busy right now. We should be with you within 15 minutes. Hi, I'm looking at your advert where you get 300 minutes and unlimited internet for £20 a month. Okay, you get 300 minutes, unlimited internet, unlimited email service. Unlimited text. Yeah. And unlimited mobile data. So all our packages have unlimited text. All of them do. Yeah. It all sounds great, except... We've got a fair usage policy at 3,000 text messages. So it's not unlimited? Yeah, no. Is it definitely unlimited with you? It is unlimited. What it is, is it's a, like an excessive usage policy, what we have. But the t internet is unlimited, even if the texts aren't as the unlimited as they say. has a fair usage policy of 500 megabytes. Whoever, whoever ever tells you it's unlimited is never unlimited. Why does it say unlimited if it's actually limited? Hello? Because we have a fair usage policy. So it seems clear. As far as the mobile companies are concerned, there are limits, even when they say there aren't. So what happens when you go over them? Joe Waters knows. He loves keeping in touch with his friends using text messages. I text quite a lot. Sometimes I can text hundreds of texts an hour. Sometimes I won't text many. Joe can text for England, you know, he can, uh, that's all he seems to do. That was just my friend from college asking me if I was at college tomorrow. It's, it's just stuff like, OK, yeah, will be, will do, you know, just to his mates. <laughs> that was just my friend asking me if I was coming out in this weather. Because he sends so many messages, Joe decided to have his first mobile phone contract with Virgin. It was a call package that included unlimited texts, so there was no stopping him. This particular month, he did 3,533. Um, I don't know what else he did with his time, but that's what he did. And uh, like we said, we didn't think it was a problem. You know, unlimited, carry on. But what Joe and his stepdad had failed to spot was that the contract had a fair use policy, limiting him to 3,000 texts. Probably enough for most people, but not a texty teenager. And once Joe had used up his allowance, Virgin Mobile charged him for every additional text message he sent. I was told that I could text Unlimited, so I texted Unlimited, and then I get a phone ball through saying I've got to pay £95. I think it should be illegal to advertise something that's not true. You can't go around saying that you can have unlimited text when it's not true. It's like putting something up in the shop for 50p and charging you 60 it's just not right. But the problem doesn't just apply to text messages. Rob Alderman signed up online to a phone package with Tesco Mobile, which included unlimited internet. It was a cheap deal for what I assumed I was getting, and it was, it was suitable for what I needed. I, I have an iPhone and I, I have to use the, the, the data allowance quite a lot. In the summer, Rob used an online mapping application on his phone to help him find his way around, and also watch some internet TV. Soon after, Tesco texted him to say his service had been suspended and he needed to call them. When he did, Rob asked what was going on. She said, well, it's because you've exceeded your limit on your internet data. And I said, but it's unlimited data on the phone. And she said, oh yes, but there's, there's a fair usage policy on, on the data. And I said, well, why, why is it called unlimited data then? She said, well, that's just the way it's, it's advertised. And for going 100 megabytes over the limit of his unlimited internet package, Tesco wanted Rob to pay £411. I didn't have £400 to, to give to Tesco Mobile at the time, and um, I never expected to pay that kind of amount on a, on a phone bill in my life. 
unlimited, they don't know the meaning of the word. Well, Talk Mobile and Virgin Media say their use of the word unlimited complies with Advertising Standards Authority guidelines. Although Virgin are now reviewing the use of the word and Tesco Mobile say they'll be making details of their fair use policy clearer and will alert customers who are in danger of breaching it in future. And they've had some good news about Robert Alderman who uh, ran up that bill of £411. They've apologised and have agreed to write that off.